so following after my PvP arena tier list, I am going to be making a PvE, which is going to be the world exploration tier list for you guys so that you guys can use the right cookies for your story mode. Of course, before I get started, I do want to remind you guys once again that this tier list is going to be based on my own opinion from my personal experience playing the game as well as clearing not only the normal 12-30 but also dark mode 12-30 which is the highest stage that we have currently inside of the game of course there's going to be a lot more stages coming out in the near future and a lot of different game modes but this is going to be mainly for the world exploration because a lot of people do get stuck and I do want you guys to invest in the right cookies because the XP star jellies are going to be a very, very, very expensive resources inside of the game, especially if you do not invest in them properly. So let's get it started. I did actually put the three of the cookies that I am going to be moving inside of the D tier. Right now, currently, I would say there is no D tier and all of these three cookies down in the bottom, which are going to be cream puff. T Knight as well as Eclair are going to be placed inside of a higher tier than D. Alright, but starting off with Eclair, Eclair is actually going to be an SS tier for PvE as well. And here's the reason why. Alright, Eclair Cookie has a lot of different things added into his kit. Not only can he do a ton of damage with the 841% attack multiplier on his skill, he is actually able to provide a debuff that is going to increase the amount of damage the enemy takes by 25%. So, if that happens, then that means he is able to make your cookies deal more damage to bosses. And that was the normal role of Darchoko as well as, in some cases, Kumio. If you guys did not have Darchoko, you can use Kumio instead. However, with the addition of a Claire cookie from this new anniversary update, I'll have to say, even if you do not have Dark Choco leveled up, even if you do not have Kumio, you can just use Hollowberry as your main tank, or you can use Strawberry Crepe as your main tank, and then just put in a Claire, and bam, you'll be able to defeat majority of the bosses like 11-30 and 12-30 where people are having a lot of trouble with because their HP is so high. But if you do combine them with Dark Choco and Eclair or Kumio and Eclair, then you could even kill it even faster, right? So utilizing Eclair's weakness debuff is going to be amazing for world exploration. And because of the fact that if you are using a Claire cookie in your main team for your world exploration, even if it's not a boss battle, he is able to provide your team with a 25% HP shield if you do kill an enemy with the weakness debuff. So if you guys are versing an enemy inside of the world exploration that are not bosses and they have a little bit of HP, then you can just cast a Claire's skill and then cause that weakness debuff. In some cases, Eclair can even kill off the enemies and with that, bam, you'll have a HP shield that is worth 25% of the max HP for every single one of the cookies inside of your team for three seconds. And this can constantly refresh if you do cast Eclair's skill once again and kill off another enemy. So, Eclair cookie is definitely worth the SS tier alongside a pumpkin pie cotton we have Sea Fairy, Hollowberry, as well as Pure Vanilla. Pure Vanilla is still going to be in SS tier for the World Exploration because of the fact that he is going to be able to heal a massive amount of HP as well as provide that 20% HP shield, which is going to be a clutch in a lot of different situations. And then for Pumpkin Pie, a very good tank. Cotton, a very good support with healing damage as well as tank and stun. Sea Fairy, a massive AoE damage dealer who can deal damage to not only the mobs but also to the bosses and Hollowberry just overall very very good tank who is going to be the best option for you in the front line but moving on to the next cookie is going to be T9 cookie T9 cookie is going to be placed at an A plus tier for me all right I know a lot of people have been saying T9 is really really good for PvE and I do agree with that okay T9 is able to perform well however just because of the fact that his kit has to focus on your cookies dying, I don't really like to recommend him being your frontline tank 
in order for you to three star majority of the stages if you want to take full advantage of his kit then that means you need to have your cookies eye and which means that you are not going to be able to three star your stages of course you can clutch a lot of different stages with t9 especially if you do have the insignia of the indomitable knight treasure then you could combine it with t9 and you might be able to clutch a lot of the stages that you might be stuck in and you can move on forward however when it comes to trying to three star then you will not be able to take full advantage of the wrath of commanders buff from t9 and you will just have to work with the attack buff as well as the crit buff that he provides to two of the teammates with the highest buff for each of those categories but still tina is going to be dealing a ton of damage to a single enemy and i'll say he is still worth an a plus tier in my opinion all right moving on to the last cookie who is going to be switched in this pve or world aspiration tier list is going to be cream puff and cream puff is actually going to be added to a a plus tier as well for world aspiration she has received a massive buff and i'll say she finally is able to be part of a team and have a successful run inside of the world aspiration she is able to heal she is able to knock back enemies or knock up enemies and also she is able to do damage and with the fact that she is able to have a chance to successfully cast her spell being able to do about double the actual amount of her normal or original multiplier she is going to be awesome for your team especially if you do not have a good healer such as pure vanilla herb cotton or even a parfait inside of your team she definitely is going to be worth your usb star jellies now and i say she definitely deserves an a plus tier at least for the world aspiration i don't know about an s tier as of now but i'll say she is definitely strong enough for that a plus tier rest of the s tier is going to be staying the same licorice is going to be awesome uh, for just having the minions out in the field and the chance of you having six minions out in the field is going to be awesome and the rest of them for boss battle dark choco sorbet as well as vampire are going to be awesome frost queen is going to do amazing against normal enemies except for the bosses and black raisin same thing very good aoe damage dealer strawberry create a very good tank and tiger lily is going to be able to provide you a three second stun as well as knockbacks if you need them and the rest of them are going to stay the same exactly how it was with the december 2021 tier list and i'll say right as of right now there is no d tier but if i do feel like some of these cookies are just not performing well inside of the world aspiration i will be bringing them down to d tier and c tier and b tier and so on however everything else i would say they are going to be okay maybe the only change i might make is going to be pastry down from a tier to b tier just because she is not able to do much inside of the world exploration compared to every single other cookies because she is mainly focusing on attack speed as well as using her normal attack which is the ricochet but anyways guys that's gonna be a quick update on the pve tier list for january 2022 for the world aspiration and i hope you guys do invest in the right cookies because you do not want to waste your esp star jellies and level up like a cookie that you might be using for a little bit to level 40 and then bam now you don't have any xp star jellies to upgrade someone like eclair who is absolutely broken right now because you decided to invest on someone else of course if you do like the cookies then you can always invest in them i would not say anything about that because it is your decision anyways guys i hope you guys found the video helpful if you guys did don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the like button and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you guys miss out on any feature Get hidden videos as well as live streams that i do on youtube and if you did not check out the pvp tier list yet then make sure to go and check that out because there has been a lot of shifts that happened inside of the current meta anyways guys thanks for watching once again and i'll see you guys all next time